guys, Clark here. Um, I'm here doing another review. This review is going to be um, short, hopefully. I'd like it to be, and it's not necessarily a blade review. It's it's a multi-tool review, and you guys already know because you see the thumbnail and you can read the title, which is uh, the Leatherman Mutt. Right there. If you can see it, Leatherman Mutt. It's going to be backwards. Okay. This is the tool. Um, I just want to give my quick opinion of it. I'll let you guys know what I think about it. If you're interested in that, then continue watching this video. Um, I'll do a quick, a quick overview of the tools, real, like really quick. I'm not going to spend too much time. I'm just going to zoom through it just so you guys can hear it, um, and then I'm going to tell you what I feel about it. So let's jump right in. Outside of the tool, most of the all, almost all the tools can be accessed outboard from this thing. So you have your knife, access right-handed. Um, this is partial serrated blade. Nice solid liner lock. You got a saw blade on the other side. Sorry, do it inside of camera. Boom, Leatherman saw, fantastic for the size. They cut really, really well. I really like it. Um, flip it around. You have a pin punch, which is meant to punch out the pins on an M4 M16 to separate the upper and lowers, upper and lowers. Boom, um, removable if it breaks, it's screw on. Other side, you have a uh, carbon scraper made out of brass, which doubles as an awl, but Disclaimer and warning: Be careful with it. If you're using with using it as an awl, you have to, it has the potential to bend or break much easier than well, I don't want to say much, but easier than a standard awl would possibly. Um, those are the main tools on the outside, or at least the ones that are opening. Then you have you have a seat belt cutter or a strap cutter, safety cutter, hammer pommel, and a manual bolt manual bolt um, override, which means if you're firing your rifle, it gets jammed. And you can't just clear it manually, or you can't clear it without this. You can jam this into the bolt and uh, pull it back and it'll manually force it clear. So that's pretty nifty with this. Uh, I believe, oh, we have a bottle opener and carabiner here, as well as a pocket clip on this side here. Uh, this is, tool is a bit large to be carried in a pocket clip, and actually it comes with a Molly compatible nylon sheath or a quarter sheath. Um, which is much more functional and I would recommend carrying it the, carrying it in this um, Obviously if you're an airman soldier sailor airman soldier sailor marine It'd make much more sense for you to carry this on a vest on a pack on a rucksack or on a On a drop leg even maybe um, Than putting it in your pocket just because of its size and uh, this also comes with the, the sheath comes with a um, tool that slides in the back of the molly strip which is meant to, I believe it was meant to help with scope sighting. Like it's a standard size for most rifle scopes. So that's pretty nifty. Um, that's neat. On the inside, you got your standard Leatherman, or standard, but they're, these are pretty beefy. These are the Leatherman pliers, which got needle nose standard and uh, removable, carb, or removable carbide cutters, which is nice. And then another neat feature that they have is a threaded hole. I hope you can see that the lighting here is pretty horrible. I need to get better. But, uh, they have a threaded hole which is meant for, which is accessible when the tool is closed. You can actually access the hole here. And what it does is you can attach a cleaning rod to it and clean the um, barrel of your gun. So those are those tools. Uh, let me, the last tool on this that I have not mentioned are the bits and I have them pulled out currently so I can show you. And uh, this, tit, this tool is really cool for the fact that it holds three bits in itself. At one short shank standard Leatherman like ones that you'd fit with like the most Leatherman tools I guess I don't I don't know I can't even jump to mind but most Leatherman is short shank but it comes with two long shank so a long standard so you got your you got your flathead and your 2D Phillips and then it also comes with Torx um, and I actually I believe that the Torx on this maybe this is the one that's supposed to be for optics. Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember if this one's for the optics or the other. One. I feel like the Torx ones are meant for rifle optics instead of the tool on the Molly sheath for this. So I'm actually not quite positive what this is for, but uh, I feel like the Torx meant are for the optics. So I apologize for switching that up. If I made any of you cringe while watching, I, I apologize. Okay, so those are the tools. Oh man, this video is dragging out. Okay, so those are the tools on this, and now I'm gonna jump into my opinion and wrap this video up. So. Um, this tool, the Leatherman Mutt, this is just the standard version, not an EOD. I believe it is a phenomenal tool. It's definitely high quality, but you definitely are going to pay the price for what you're getting because um, they know what they want. 
This tool is end user is meant, as I mentioned before, for an airman, soldier, sailor, or marine who is deployed and who is in need of a light, light, lightweight. I'm saying lightweight as, a, as opposed to carrying all of the individual tools. Um, a lightweight compromise for a multi-tool as well as a uh, weapon platform maintenance tool. So like a rifle maintenance tool for M16 or M4. So with that in mind, if you are an airman, soldier, or sailor, or marine, or a police officer, or SWAT member, or an avid range attendee, attendant, um, this tool could be the one for you. It could be the one you want, and uh, it's definitely a cool tool. I know that's pretty lame to say, but it's it's an aesthetically pleasing tool, and uh, there's a lot of pride of ownership with this. Um, so that's a pro, of course. Um, but like I said, if you're looking for an EDC tool, this is not the one. This is much too bulky, um, too too large, and then there's a lot of unnecessary tools for EDC. Um, it's just, just the way it is. Not that this is not a good tool, but if you want to own, if you want a good EDC tool, look at the SOG switch plier, look at Leatherman Sidekick or Wingman, or there's a bunch of them out there. There's a bunch of them that are much more suited for EDC than this tool here. This tool has a, a specific design purpose and end user in mind, and for that, it's phenomenal. Outside of that, it is, uh, there are better options. Just saying, I love this tool and I wouldn't try it for anything, uh, but I don't EDC it. So, um, that's the view, that's, that's the, I mean, that's the video. Please like my video, please subscribe to my channel if you like what you see here and you wanna see more. And uh, if you don't like what you see, comment, let me know what you wanna see. I'll, I would like to hear what people have to say. So uh, thanks so much for watching and uh, Take care.